Hello, uh, I'm Sebastian from Extreme Tech. Uh, you no doubt recognize the back of my head from some other videos. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Windows 8 Release Preview, which is the new release candidate. Uh, the next build will be the RTM, uh, the final build of Windows 8. Uh, we're first going to look at uh, the multi-monitor improvements, because they're what most interests me and probably most uh, power users. Uh, the hot corners, which replace uh, the start button, and they add in new functionality, like the charms. Uh, there's now hard corners on each display. So you can see I'm ramming my mouse into the corner and it's sticking up here. Uh, makes it a lot easier to hit the corners, obviously. Uh, so up here we have the app switcher. And then over here we have the charms. And in the bottom left, we have the start button. And obviously you can now hit the start button lost my mouse pointer. Here we go. I also have a laptop over here that you can't see and I'm using a virtual KVM. So, and now previously you could move the start screen between monitors by switching the taskbar, but now I'll show you. So if we use the start button over here, it opens here. If you click it down here, it opens over here. Um, and it follows your Metro apps. So this is the other improvement to multi-monitor setup. If we open up Internet Explorer, let's go to a better site. Ah, an awesome site. Now, you can drag this. Previously, you could only put it in a sidebar or in a main window, but now you can drag it to the other screen. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I was kind of hoping that, come on. Okay, here we go. This is the new travel app, by the way. Very pretty. And you can now scroll through using up and down scroll wheel. I think that's new. You still can't pan with the mouse, which is a bit sucky. Anyway, I was hoping that you could have this sidebar on both screens, uh, but unfortunately you can still only have Metro on one screen. So if we drag the sidebar over here, the entire thing moves. Okay, uh, next we'll look at Internet Explorer uh, and IE10, uh, sorry, uh, Flash in IE10. As you know, it's now built in, um, but no other plugins are allowed. So, okay, let's get rid of this, it's confusing me. Okay, so here we have a Flash site. Uh, this is whitelisted, so it works. Uh, curiously, the context menu has been reworked to make it touch-friendly uh, in Adobe's and Microsoft's words, uh, but it always appears in the top left corner, presumably, so you can hit it with your thumb. Uh, is a bit odd on the desktop, though. Very odd on the desktop, even. But that might uh, change before the RTM. Uh, but then, on the flip side, a site that isn't whitelisted, Addicting Games, a fairly big Flash game site, uh, Flash doesn't work, uh, which may be an issue for some website owners. Um, it does work uh, on Armour Games, Newgrounds, and a lot of other big sites, so Microsoft may fix it. I hope, it's, hope they fix it. Uh, and here is Internet Explorer 10 on the desktop, uh, also has a built-in Flash player, and as you can see, Flash, these are the same pages, defend and dismember, but here the Flash player works. These clowns make quite sensual sounds when you shoot them. Anyway, uh, I think that's all for the release preview. Is that, oh no, we can show you the, uh, the new flat UI. Okay, enough of that. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, Aero is going away. Uh, to be replaced by a minimalist theme. Um, as you can see, Aero is still here. You can see the translucency on the menu bar, uh, but all the other flat widgets and doodads are in. So you can see the scroll bar is flat. All these are flat. This is square, rounded corners are gone. Uh, but the menu bar is still translucent. Uh, uh, we'll have some screenshots on the site. You probably can't see the details uh, from the video, uh, but it does actually look, I think it looks very nice. Um, it reminds me a lot of that old uh, Office XP, I think, or Office 2003, where they had very similar 
uh, flat square buttons. Okay, I think that's all the main changes in the release preview. Uh, this has been Sebastian for Extreme Tech. Goodbye.